What is up guys? Today we are back with another YouTube video. I'm not, I'm kind of in like a weird scenario, but for the YouTube sake, we're filming this intro right here. Today I have a huge announcement for you guys. I have my very first plugin coming out and I'm so excited to announce. I've been working on this for three to four months. It's been something crazy like that. It's been a crazy journey. But anyways, guys, it is called pre-animate. It'll pop up somewhere on the screen. explain it right now but this is a davinci resolve plugin this is for mainly content editors but it could be for anyone but anyways we're going to hop into davinci resolve right now and i'm going to show you guys exactly how this works but where you can get this is the link down in the description but continue watching this video because i'm going to show you exactly how it is used in davinci resolve let's get it all right guys so we're about to hop into davinci resolve um but beforehand i want to let you guys know that this works in both studio and the free version so either way you guys should be good to go and install this um, i'm going to show you guys how to install it and then how exactly it works all right so once you install it you're going to be left with a zip file um, once you unzip that file, this is what's in the file. So we have a DRFX file, a nice little animation cover of it, and then basically a video of step-by-step -step how to install it and use it properly, which is also exactly what we're going over in this video. So with the DRFX file, all you have to do is simply double click with DaVinci Resolve open. And as you can see here, you'll be left with this right here. Um, now for me, it says overwrite, but that's because I already have it installed. But if you don't have it installed, it'll literally just say install. So once you click install, it should immediately upload to your effects tab. So if you come to your effects tab um, and you scroll down, once you see pre-animate, you're good to go. So you'll be presented with six different animation styles that are all fully customizable. So this is how simple it is. All I have is my PNG file right here over a background. So you guys are able to see the animation, but all I'm gonna do is simply come and grab this left to right. I'm gonna drop it on and uh, this is exactly what it does. This is, this is, this is the plugin. Animates in and it animates out. Um, now here's the best part about this effect. It's customizable and you're able to shrink it and make it bigger. So um, it's not just one animation. So say I want it to be right here. I want the animation to end like right here. I'm able to do so by just dragging it there. So boom. Um, now one thing to be noted is I don't, I believe it cannot be any shorter than 2.22 seconds. Um, it can't be any shorter than that because there, you, you can't do any animation shorter than that. It stays there for a few and then it goes away. That's the shortest the animation will be able to get. But what, I, what you can do is let this extend for as long as you want. So say you need it for 28 seconds, you're able to do that. Um, and that's basically how it works for every single one of these. Um, and the best part about this is it's just drag and drop and it's ready to go. So I don't have to go into the settings and mess with anything, but if you guys wanna mess with any of the settings, I'm gonna show you some settings that I would mess with personally. So first things first is I would come with the wide deviation, just turn it up a little bit, come up with the overall strength and then the speed. And then with the quality of the motion blur, just turn it to five. So that way when it comes in, the motion blur is more there and you can even turn the speed up a little bit, but that way you're able to get a shake as it comes in, like a more aggressive shake as you can see there, and then when it goes away, it gives you a nice aggressive shake. Now I'm gonna give you guys some more sauce. Um, I, like to, I like to double up on the plugin to make it look even better. So what I would do is I would drag and drop magic zoom on from Mr. Alex Tech, um, and what that will do is if you come to the magic zoom and go to the camera shake and just turn up the speed scale, you're able to get something like this. And it'll shake around during the whole clip, which I think is super cool. Um, and you could double up on those and, and that's a really cool effect as is, but boom, just like that, you have a cool animation in, and you could do it, um, either style. So you have down, up, left, 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 right, right, left, right, right, and then up and down. Um, and then I'm about to show you guys exactly how you're able to customize them. In the fusion tab, you have to go to templates, go to edit, go to effects, and then under pre-animate right here, you're able to just upload these, these files to the timeline. Holding shift, you can just drag and drop it, and now you have this in your timeline. So as you can see, my, my keyframes are in the clip. Um, and the best part about this is you're literally able to fully customizable these keyframes right here, which is super cool. So um, I'm able to select this animator right here in the spline tab, um, and then you're able to customize the keyframes. That is how pre-animate works. Um, it is the first link in the description if you guys want to support me. Um, I think this plugin is amazing. Um, this will speed up your workflow, and it's just so simple and easy to use. It doesn't overload your computer 
computer either. This could be do done on any sort of software. But yeah, guys, first link in the description. It is actually on sale right now too. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope you guys are able to get that plug in. If you do get it, let me know down below. Let me know how it is. Personally, message me on Instagram, whatnot. Like I said, first link in the description. Thank you guys for watching today. Get pre-animate. See y'all till next time. Ryan Herrick, what does he do? Pre-animate the plugin, is it coming out soon? Uh, yeah, I think so. Isn't it already out? Is it? Is it? Yeah, it's on the it's in the link, first link down description, right? Wait, hold on, isn't it on sale? It is on sale. Oh snap, I might yeah. have to get it. I bet, go get it right now.